Happy Homebrew Wednesday. The Imperial Stout. That's the cat trying to get in the door. The Imperial Stout by Nathan McKenzie. Uh, taking a break, brewing at the moment, just got the boil on. Um, probably not a good idea to be drinking 9% beer while you're brewing on a Wednesday night, but hey, why not? Um, Nathan sent this up to me, and I have a bottle for Dean. Next time I catch up for your Dean, probably Brew Club, I'll give you the bottle. Um, what have we got here? This, if you've been following Nathan, this beer, it's the Mortgage Beer. 300 and something grams of hops in here. Um, although I have to say, it's not as hoppy as I thought it would be. Um, Nathan said it's got an IBU of 70. It was meant to have a targeted IBU of 100. Um, but what I love about this beer, and I do love this beer by the way, is the lovely sort of molasses smell, licorice type smell that it has in flavour. I love the way it's not too carved. Just a little bit. I'm not a big fan of um, highly carved dark beers. This is fantastic. Um, Nathan, I can see why you want to brew this again. This is a great beer. Um, and I think from when you, it's full of New Zealand hops. Bloody great. Love it. All right. Here's the cat. Um, brew night tonight. Let's go up into the garage and look what's happening. I am rebrewing a chocolate oatmeal stout. Just doing a little bit different this time. Last one was great. Um, I'm playing around a little bit, experimenting. Just trying to get on top of uh, my beer supplies. Don't mind the washing machine in the background, but let's just pop over to the kettle here for a minute and see what's happening. Down here, cooking away. Ah, oatmeal. Chocolate don't melt out. Nom 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 nom. But, but, let's have a look at a random ingredient in the corner. Pumpkin. Pretty familiar product. What the hell has pumpkin got to do with oatmeal stout? No, I am not going to be making pumpkin beer. But, it's as simple. Well, it's just on the verge of winter here in New Zealand and we're all eating pumpkin soup. Something that we do in winter. It's cheap, easy, people do it. Now the thing about pumpkin soup is that pumpkins are naturally sweet. But when you make pumpkin soup and you add a little bit of this stuff, this stuff, salt, it makes the pumpkin soup taste sweeter. It's a fact. Just a sensory thing. So, recently when I was talking to Richard Emerson about brewing, he gave me a little pointer, a little tip, and he said, when you're making your dark beers, and he does this for his London Porter and his Torrey George, excellent beers by the way, um, he puts a little bit of this in it. And it brings out the natural sweetness of the malt and makes the beer taste sweeter and richer. So tonight I'm putting a little bit of this into my beer. Pretty exciting. We'll see, we'll see how it turns out. I've done some experiments. I've, I've had like a porter or a stout and I've put a wee bit of salt in it and mixed it around and tasted it. and. Yeah, so I'll let you know how it goes. Um, I reckon it's going to be pretty good. Um, anyhow, brief one from me tonight. That's all. Um, da, 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 da. That's all. Can't think of much else. Um, just a shout out, Tube Dino. Um, congrats recently on the on the big subscription and uh, love watching your stuff. And from further abroad, tiny off, off tap brewing. Good on you, mate. Love watching your videos. All right, catch you guys next week. See ya. Happy Hobby Wednesday. What a bloody muppet. It's not a stout. It's a bloody black IPA, dickhead. Anyhow, sorry, Nathan. Delicious beer. Mm. Mm. Now to finish the rest of the bottle. See you later, boys. <laughs>